if you have not yet made your first dollar or you're struggling to make a substantial amount of money every month, like you just can't seem to get your shit together and make a thousand bucks a month at least, I have news for you. Good news and bad news. Good news, I'll start with the bad news. The bad news is nothing's going to change for you. You're going to continue to struggle. You're going to continue to not make any money. You're going to continue to uh, chase your tail. You're going to continue to feel stressed and anxious and confused and overwhelmed. And you're going to continue to uh, be very pessimistic. You're going to continue to think negative thoughts. You're going to continue to suffer from not being able to make money online. If you're a dude, you're going to suffer from not being able to provide for your family or for your wife or your children. If you're a woman, you're going to uh, suffer from feeling like an idiot for not figuring this out quickly enough. Like, I've been there. I know what that's like. So I'm speaking from experience and I was speaking from my observations having worked with thousands of beginners now in this contemporary space. So that's the bad news. You're going to continue to experience that. Unless, unless you tap into this bit of good news. And the bit of good news is that every single person who's now crushing it online, every single person, every single contemporary you see, including Alex Formosi, including Sam Ovens, including myself, including everyone else that you see, everyone who's crushing it started there, started where you're at right now. But they did something to get out of that shithole, for lack of a better word. Financial shithole. We did something to get out of that. Very few people do what I'm going to share with you here, which is why 99% of the people who try to start a business end up failing because they don't do this one thing. Sam did it, Alex did it, I did it. Every single person, without exception, does this one thing to get out of that financial shithole. But 99% of the people won't. So you watching this video right now, there is a there is a 99% chance that you're not going to take my advice. And that's that's totally cool. Like being successful is not for everybody. It's it's really not. That's why it's called the top 1%. 99% of people, it's just they're, they're not meant for that 1%. And this thing, this thing that we did to to get out of the financial shithole is Something that's not taught at the dinner table at home. It's not taught in the libraries, really. I mean, maybe if you go to like the, the, the back end of the library, you might find it in like the alternative section of the library. It's not taught at school. Definitely not taught at school. It's not talked about uh, when you hang out with your friends. So most people have no clue about this. But if you do research on YouTube, if you, if you buy certain books, you can, you can learn this. And if you apply it, you'll get results right away with it. That's the, that's the good news. Um, but again, before I even tell you what it is, I just want to say like there's a the if you, if you want to put yourself in the upper one percent, you can do this right now. <clears throat> you can do this right now, and you have to continue to do it. So, what is this? What is the secret? What's going to pull you out of this financial shit hole? Well, I'll tell you what it's not. It's not hiring a coach, being like I'm going to hire Ted and everything's going to be solved. It's not buying a book. It's not buying a course. It's not going to a conference. It's nothing outside of yourself, actually. It's nothing outside of yourself. You can, in fact, you can close your eyes and make this work. You can do this with your eyes closed. You can be a blind man. You can be a blind woman to make this work. You don't even need your hands. You can chop your hands off and still make this work. You can be blind without hands. I could take a blind man with no hands and have him make way more money than 99% of the people in contemptpreneurship.com. Because this does not require your hands, this does not require your eyes. And yet all of you guys are like, bah, 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 bah. you're like looking at bro, bro, how, do I, how do I succeed, how do I succeed, how do I succeed? Bro, you don't need your hands, you don't need your eyes. Put your hands behind your back, close your eyes, and listen to what I'm going to tell you, because this is how you be successful. You do the inner work. You do the inner work. You close your eyes and you see and feel yourself. You see a version of yourself who's already successful. And then you feel what that would feel like right now. What does it feel like right now in this moment to be successful, to be making the kind of money you want to make? What does $5,000 a month feel like? What does $10,000 a month 
feel like. It's a feeling. It's a physical feeling. And when you feel what it feels like, you instantly align yourself vibrationally with having that amount of money. So picture this. You can do it with your eyes closed if you want. Here's $10,000 a month. Here's a dollar a month, right? Just feel what it feels like. Hey, you're making $10,000 a month. Congratulations. That's a cool feeling. 10 grand a month. That's pretty sweet. We'll put it right here on the map, okay? And then, hey, you're making a dollar a month. Congratulations. Here it feels kind of like that, right? So there's a different feeling you get energetically, vibrationally, just saying those two numbers. $10,000 a month, $1 a month. So, knowing that there's a difference between feeling $10,000 and feeling $1 a month, you have to continuously feel what $10,000 a month feels like, and you have to familiarize yourself with that feeling. And you've got to feel it every single day. And you might think this is very woo-woo, and, and, and you don't see how it could possibly work. So I would encourage you to then say, Ted, I'm going to do the opposite. And I would encourage you to do the opposite. I would encourage you to feel like you're in debt $10,000. Tell me how that feels. How does it feel to be $10,000 in debt? I was in $30,000 in debt, so I know, I know what that feels like. It feels terrible. So I say, okay, if you're not into this whole feeling thing, fine. Feel terrible. Do the opposite. Feel, feel what being in debt feels like. Do that every single day. Wake up, feel like you're in debt. Go to bed, feel like you're in debt. Go through your whole life, go through your whole day, feel like you're in debt. See how that benefits you. See how that feels. Terrible. And when you feel terrible, you align yourself with terrible life circumstances. You end up... You end up suffering every single day. You end up not getting the things you want in life. And the alternative is true. The vice versa is true. When you feel what $10,000 a month feels like, you now align yourself vibrationally with making $10,000 a month. You now put yourself in alignment with 10 k a month so that it's just a matter of time before it happens. And the stronger you feel like you're... The stronger the feeling is that you're already making 10 k a month, the faster it's going to come. People are going to inbox you. Your videos are going to go viral. People are going to agree to do an interview with you. Clients are going to agree to work with you. People are going to agree to partner up with you. Someone's going to invite you to a mastermind meeting. You're going to go to the mastermind meeting. Someone's going to show up at the right time and shake your hand and interview and talk to you and, and want to say, hey, come on my podcast. Or you're going to say, hey, can I, you want to come on my podcast? And they say, sure. Or you're going to have the idea for a podcast. You're like, I was just sitting there and all of a sudden the idea for a podcast came into my mind. I don't even know where it came from. It came from you being in alignment with that kind of money. With the kind of money that comes from feeling that feeling. So when I was a broke hippie, I was not a broke hippie because of the things I was doing in my life. I was doing really cool things in my life, but I was still a broke hippie. Why? I was a broke hippie because I was feeling like a broke hippie. Even though I was studying how to become rich, I studied how to become rich. I was reading, I was reading the books, I was listening to the audiobooks, I was watching YouTube videos, but I kept feeling like I was a broke hippie. I felt like I was a broke hippie studying how to become rich. Just because you're studying how to become rich doesn't mean you're going to become rich. Unless you feel, unless you alter your internal feeling and you feel like you're already rich. Feeling like you're already rich. There's a great book on this called Feeling is the Secret. Highly recommend checking it out. And then doing what it says. So when I was a broke hippie, I was a broke hippie because I felt like a broke hippie. It was only once I switched my inner dialogue and my inner identity and my inner feeling and started feeling like I was already making $10,000 a month, it was only then that I actually put myself in alignment with making $10,000 a month, started to then get the results of somebody who makes $10,000 a month. And it wasn't long before I doubled it up again, made twenty k a month. I switched my feeling. I stopped feeling like somebody makes 10 k a month and I doubled it. I'm like, I'm somebody who makes 20 k a month and I made that. So, and I, and I remember how, how absurd it was to even think about 20 k a month. It was absurd. It was absolutely absurd because I, I wasn't making much at the time. It, it wasn't actually that I went from 0 to 10 to 20. It was actually that I went from like 2,500 bucks a month to 20 k That's how it really went down. And I have YouTube videos documenting all this. You go on my YouTube channel, you can see this. I'm talking about how to make $2,500 a month because uh, all these vegans were asking me how to do it. So I started teaching these vegans how to make $2,500 a month. And 
did a webinar. That webinar did very well. I ended up making 18 grand my first month, 20K after that, 25K after that, and I was like set for life after that because I understood how to do sales properly. But the feeling of feeling, the feeling of making 20K a month felt so unrealistic. It felt embarrassing. I genuinely felt embarrassed to feel the feeling of $20,000 a month because the number was so absurdly big. At the time, again, I was making 2500 And I'd heard people talk about making 10 k a month, that being like the milestone for people. But I, I, I was like, oh, it didn't feel original to me. I was like, oh, people are already feeling 10 k a month. Like, people are already going for that milestone. I'm going to put this thing to the test and really feel what it feels like to make 20 k a month. And boom, happened. So, you could, like... You can, you can spend all day chasing your tail, watching all the different course materials I teach. You can, you can learn about the sales process I recommend. You can learn about the DM scripts, the phone scripts, the funnels, the offers, the niches, the pricing, the school communities, the different softwares we use. But nothing is going to work for you. Nothing is going to work for you until you already feel the feeling of making $20,000 a month or $10,000 a month or whatever amount you want to make. So, like, like, you know right now what it feels like to be angry. I could say act angry. Go. And you could act angry. You even know the body language for it. You can be like, ah, oh, right? You do the facial structure, the, the clenched fist. You know what anger feels like. You know what anger looks like. You know what excited feels like. It's like jumping up and down. Yeah. You know what, uh, you know what feeling carefree looks and feels like. And, and being relaxed, right? You like lean back. You're like, ah. Oh. Right? Hands behind your head. Like you, there's body language for this. You know what sad looks and feels like as well? You cry, you bend over, you put your hands on your eyes, you know. You know what that looks and feels like. Well, do you know what making $20,000 a month looks and feels like? Because if you don't, how are you going to feel it? How are you going to express that vibrationally? If you don't know what it looks like, if you're not familiar with it, how are you supposed to tap into that? So, the good news is that making any amount of money, whether it's 5K, 10K, 20K a month, whatever, it's going to look and feel differently to different people. Everyone's going to have their own sort of expression of that. But you need to create your own. And then you need to familiarize yourself with that feeling, and then you've got to feel it every single day. You have to ignore the 3D world. You have to ignore the 3D world when you open up your bank app on your phone and it says that you're like, you only have $2,000 to your name. You have to ignore that. And, and the next time you see that, you add a zero on the end. So it actually says $20,000. And you tell yourself, oh, I made that in a month. You know, I used, to, I used to Photoshop my PayPal. And I would have that on the background of my phone. I Photoshop PayPal and put that in the back of my phone so I see that every day. And, I, and I, saw, I saw it and I felt what that felt like. It felt really damn good. I was like, oh, that's amazing. That's a really good feeling. So you need to come up with your own sort of body language for what 10K month feels like or how, whatever your income goal is. You need to come up with that, that inner feeling of it. And you need to experience it every single day. Because until you do that, no amount of ex external coursework or coaching is going to help. You're going to be running around like a chicken with your head cut off, like a dog chasing his tail, and you're never going to get the accomplishment that you're looking for. When I've interviewed my clients who worked with me from scratch, they were making nothing, and now they're making 5K, 10K, 20, $35,000 a month, $300,000 a month. I've got a client right now making $300,000 a month. Even to me, that number is a, it's a big number, 300K a month. Making much more than I'm making. 3X, three times more than me. When I ask them how they feel now versus how they feel when they first started, the answer is always the same. It's, they say, I feel completely different. I feel like a completely different person. So that's the trick. The trick is to feel like you're rich already, and the trick is to change the person you are. And changing the person you are is 
extremely difficult, especially when you're around a bunch of people who expect you to be a certain way. Especially if you have a spouse and you married this person and this person that you married knows you to be broke. They know you to be the person who struggles financially. They know you to be the person who can't get their shit together. They know you to be the person who gets easily overwhelmed and full of anxiety and stress whenever you're trying to make money. They know you to be the, the failure that you've been. It's very difficult to then shift the identity and be like, I'm a success. I make $10,000 a month. And to truly own that feeling. It's very difficult because of your expectations of their expectations of you. It can be done. It can be done. But this is probably one of the greatest obstacles is your social circle, your social network, which is why it's so easy to succeed when you get around successful people because all the other successful people expect you to be successful. If you're not successful, they want you out. I've never entered a group of successful people where we're like, oh yeah, this unsuccessful person is coming to join us in conversation. No, successful people only want to talk and be around other successful people. Unless they're doing like a fan interaction or something or whatever, like Q&A. But like on a day-to-day -day basis or like even at like an event or a conference or something, successful people want to be situated around other successful people. So when you show up in their circle, you have to now feel successful to even be a fit vibrationally there, which is why it's so easy to become successful when you're around successful people. Because you, you can't remain around them unless you're successful. They force you to bring out the success vibe. If you don't bring out the success vibe, you're gone. Get out of here. So... Like, because we used to communicate before language. Language is a modern invention. You know, humans used to exist and coexist with one another, hundreds of peoples in, in tribes where we didn't even speak a language. There was no English. There was no hello. There was no how are you. It was all vibration. People could pick up on other people's vibrations. We can pick up on your vibration. I can tell if you're sad or if you're happy without you needing to tell me. And I can tell if you are rich or poor by your vibe. Here in Dubai... I'm surrounded by extremely wealthy people. It feels so good. I'm going to America tomorrow, flying to America tomorrow. I'm going to be in LA, I'm going to be in Vegas. And for parts of that trip, I'm, I know I'm going to be surrounded by ultra wealthy people, ultra successful people, because I'm going to these different business events, going to the school headquarters. But I also know I'm going to walk into the grocery store, I'm going to walk through the streets, I'm going to go to the gym, and I'm going to be around people who just are not on that wealth vibe and that this is fine it doesn't make them bad people at all they're so cool to hang around they're so cool to work out with they're so funny they're so great people but i can just tell that they're not rich you can tell if somebody's rich just by the vibe they're giving off some people really show it off other people not so much but you can tell they don't care what they're wearing they don't care what they're saying you can just pick up the vibe it's the vibe that they're emanating so I'm going to wrap this video up, but I just want to say, like, you're going to waste your time going through courses, books, coaching programs until you address the inner vibe. The inner vibe. You've heard the quote, I'm sure. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Look at your tribe right now. My tribe used to be full of brokies. And that's because I was a brokey. That was the vibe I was giving off. Now my, my tribe is so epic, man. I've got the most elite tribe in the world. I have an elite tribe. Because I give off an elite vibe. And again, this is something you can do without your hands. But you can do this with your eyes closed. But please don't come on our coaching calls. And complain and act like a victim. And say, woe is me. This isn't working. When you clearly haven't done the inner work. The inner work comes first. If you're ever going to come on a coaching call and complain, that's just red flags all around for, hey, this is someone who hasn't done the work. I've never gotten on a coaching call. I've never, gotten on a, I've never paid for coaching, gotten on the call, and just started complaining. I've never hired a coach for one-on-one -on -one and started complaining to them. Ever. Because that just cements me further down as a brokey. I get on coaching calls and I say, hey, here's what I'd like to achieve. Here's what I have a question about, or here's what I'm currently struggling with, or here's, here's what I have been struggling with. How do I resolve this so that I can get here quickest? I'm willing to try anything, even if it's something I've already tried before. And if they tell me a suggestion, something they've already tried before, I say, okay, that's a great idea. Uh, I recently tried that, and here were my results. Did I do something wrong, or was it something I was missing? Like, what can I, if I'm going to try this again, how can I make sure I do it right? And I just take the advice. And I make sure I do the inner work. Because that's the most important thing. 
but do the inner work. If something's really not working externally, even if a coach is telling me to do it, I know I gotta do the inner work. So that's it. Peace for now. Much love. Adios. We'll see you on the weekly calls. Bye.